Fame contains information on millions of companies in Great Britain and Ireland. You can use it to research individual companies, create groups of companies, or search for companies with specific profiles. In this video, we'll look at finding information on an individual company. To access Fame, go to the online library page in StudyNet. Click on the A to Z list of search sources underneath the library search box and scroll down to Fame. You can also access Fame via the online library page by scrolling down to the subject toolkits, clicking on business and opening up the specialist database list. Fame contains information on active and dead companies in Great Britain and Ireland with historical depth going up to 20 years in the case of the larger companies. If you're looking for a single company, the easiest way is to use the search box at the top of the screen. Type in the, main, the name of the company. Make sure you spell it right. And click on the link. So I'm presented with some basic information about Tesco in this instance. It tells me it's an active company, its registration number and some key information, uh, its address and so on, and some headline financials, the turnover, net income and market cap, and then briefly a financial profile. So five years worth of, of information there, although you can expand that by clicking on more. And that takes me to the, the main financial worksheet. We go back to the complete book. Down the left hand side here I can see the different headers within the, the complete book of information. So if I want to get a, an idea of what the company is involved in, I can go to the company profile, the industry and activities heading, and I can click show more to see what the company, when the company was founded and the main areas it operates in. Fame's particularly strong with financial information, so I'm going to have a look here. So key financials and employees, just to get that overview. And like I say, up to 20 years worth of, of data available. This is right through uh, all the headings for uh, for Tesco's. It's such a large company, they've managed to gather 20 years worth of historical data. So looking at the balance sheet, we've got assets, current assets, liabilities, and so on. Again, 20 years worth. If I want to export that, the Excel button at the top of the screen there, creates uh, an Excel file which I can open up uh, at a later time. Profit and loss accounts also there. So again you can see all the major headings uh, from the reported accounts. Cash flow and ratios. One other area that's really useful when you're looking at a single company is to find out who its peer group is. So clicking peer comparison draws in 10 of its closest competitors. So in the case of Tesco's, you see we've got Sainsbury's, William Morrison's, Waitrose and so on listed there. And it just defaults to some major um, data points uh, from um, from fame. So things like turnover, profit and loss, total assets, profit margin and so on, all given there. If I want to add more to this, I can simply click add and remove columns and that allows me to select any particular data items I want to include before again exporting them to Excel. If you're interested in seeing the original documents for Tesco's, Click on Original Documents. This is where you'll find any 
information that's been notified to Companies House. So that might be changes to directorships or indeed the annual accounts. So hopefully that will pop up soon. So we can look in 2019 there, just open that up, change in director, allotment of securities, then the, the annual return and the full accounts there. So you don't need to go looking on the company's own website for their accounts. You can actually link to them from within Fame.